Hello, good day guys. This is JK Biano and today we're going to be talking about how to turn your sketch into digital art or how to draw using your mouse. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to do so. Let's go! So the first thing that you have to do is to prepare your lighting because we are going to be taking a picture of your sketch and once you have a picture you're going to drag them into our software which is Adobe Illustrator uh, first we are going to yeah rotate it and scale it accordingly so we're going to add a new layer and drag out a rectangle tool or the shortcut key is M uh, we're going to be adding a clipping mask in our drawing so place your we can change the color so we're going to uh, highlight both the drawing and the the make clipping mask once we have that we're going to lock that layer lock our sketch layer and add a new layer this is, layer is for our outline so we're going to name it outline uh, but first let's add a gray background so it will not strain our eyes while drawing so let's go back to our outline layer Uh, let's first lower the opacity of our sketch or picture and lock the layer make sure to lock the layer so we can't move it so first tool that we are going to use is the pencil tool Can use your pencil tool uh, to have a smooth outline or outcome for your pencil tool you have to double click the logo of the pencil tool then set the smoothness according to your liking once you have set the smoothness see you set your smoothness you can set it all the way up i preferred mine here so press ok then start sketching going to sketch using the mouse trees You can see it is smooth. The outline, the outcome is smooth. So it is uh, for me. I am. It's advised to overlap your lines because we are going to fix it later. So let's use an ellipse tool for the eyes. You can hold shift to have a perfect circle. Then you can click the ellipse tool or circle then hold alt while dragging it to make a duplicate then we're going to trace it again using the pencil tool so you're going to click the ellipse tool again uh, the letter L 
on the keyboard make sure that it is set to fill uh, you can toggle between fill and stroke using the shift X so you have to press the letter N or this pencil tool for the outline so that's basically it those are the tools that we are using to trace our sketch so from here on let's speed things up a bit then we are going to slow things after once we reach to the coloring part so enjoy So now I have promised to clean out the overlapping lines. You have to go to pencil tool, right click, and select join tool. You're going to brush it out to clean it. So for here, this part we're going to join. We're going to select all, then click the shape builder tool. Then we're going to hold alt on our keyboard, then select the overlapping lines. We're going to click that, and as you can see, it is magically removed. Click alt again to the overlapping lines and it's magically removed so do this to the overlapping lines that you want to remove so this method for me is the most useful one in cleaning out my drawings so let's speed things up a bit So for the width profile or the stroke, you can click here the stroke then change it to a rounded edge. So we want it. For this one, we can go to a width profile and choose this width profile. Change the width profile. For this, you can select a width profile of your choice and that's basically it. Changing the width groups, we're going to add a line here using the pencil tool. Then change its stroke width to match our outline. So I guess that's it, changing the width profile for our outlines to have a sharp edge or a non-uniform width of our drawing.
so in this part here we're going to add a line we're going to close this using the pen tool so highlight everything then use the shape builder tool then click alt i mean alt click click alt then to remove the overlapping lines and we're going to join this using the join tool so this part is in preparation for our coloring phase so for this part we are going to be adding the lines since uh, as you observe in cartoons drawing or in cartoon drawings the outline of the tongue is not really black uh, this is just a personal preference of mine so I'm going to change the color and preparation for my coloring part I'm going to add a darker shade of pink to my thumb, my drawing. Highlight your drawing. Then go to object, expand appearance, object again, expand, click OK. Highlight, Pathfinder, then merge your drawings. If you can't find the Pathfinder tool, go to click here, then check Pathfinder. So in here, we're going to duplicate our outline layer. Once we have duplicated it, let's place the outline layer above the outline copy layer. Then lock your outline layer. We're going to add a rectangle tool, which is the shortcut key M. Then add it to our outline copy. Then you send the rectangle tool to back highlight everything on the outline copy layer then merge it we're going to right click and isolate selected path then remove the excess shape and now you have an individual shape on which you can change the color so this is where we add our color you can add any color you like you can add a your preferred color to your to your desired character enjoy so if you're having a hard time choosing a color you can add the reference color or the character that you are following or trying to draw and copy their color using the eyedropper tool which is the shortcut key letter i and use that color to your drawing So in here you're going to add a new layer, uh, this is for our shading, uh, light shading, 
for our character make sure it is under the outline layer which is locked and let's add our shading I'm using the pencil tool set to fill for the shading of the character that I'm drawing So that's basically it guys, I know that this video is quite advanced for some, those who don't have experience in Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop or any drawing software, but need not worry, we're not in a hurry, we just need to practice it. I also new to this digital art. So I hope this video helps you and maybe inspire you a bit in starting your digital art using only your mouse. So if you have any questions, suggestions, violent reactions, you can comment down below. So subscribe and see you in the next video.